Is that you, Tim? Hello, dear. Hungry? Yes. Good. I'll bring it right in. It's a soup de poisson, dear. I know you'll enjoy it. Yes, I have no doubt of it. Don't wait for me. I'm just going to see to the next course. Well, what's new in the case? Any sensational breaks? No. I'll be glad when we get Mr. Richard Blaney inside, though. Any idea where he is? No, our only lead to him left her job this morning. What's more, I don't know where she is either. You're certain he's the one? Oh, yes, he's the one, all right. There's not even the complication of another suspect. It has to be him. We have him identified as leaving the matrimonial agency at the time his ex was killed. We have the clothes which he found necessary to send to the cleaners in a hurry. And we have the evidence of the face powder in the Salvation Army hostel. I don't follow you, my dear. I didn't think the Salvation Army girls used makeup. Now, Blaney slept in a Salvation Army hostel the night before last. Did he, dear? Yes. He was incautious enough to tell him his name. I don't think uh, an ex-RAF officer would sleep in such a place unless he was broke, do you? No, I don't. So let's assume he was. Last night, however, he slept in the Coburg Hotel in Bayswater and paid for his extremely expensive room with a ten-pound note. The note bore traces of the same face powder we found in Mrs. Blaney's handbag. I mean, the murderer not only strangled Mrs. Blaney, he stole money from her handbag as well. Ergo, Blaney is the thief and also the murderer. That ties it up, then. Well, I think so. And furthermore, there is a waitress at Mrs. Blaine's club who can also testify to Blaine's aggressive behaviour towards his wife the previous night. He doesn't seem to have been very discreet, does he? No, discretion is not traditionally the strong suit of the psychopath, dear. Believe me, that's what we're dealing with. You ought to read his wife's divorce petition. What exactly is in this soup? Why don't you like it? Mmm. It's delicious. But I find the ingredients are somewhat mystifying. They're smelts, ling, conger eel, John Dory, pilchards, and frogfish. And now, since that must have been fairly satisfying, I thought a simple roast bird would be enough. Kai o Riza. Hmm? Well, with grapes. Ah. I must say, I'm very worried. About Mr. Blaney? Yeah. He's gone off with a barmaid he used to work with. I think she's in very great danger. You're wrong, Tim. Absolutely wrong. It can't be this fellow. How long did you say he was married? Ten years. There you are. A crime de passion after all that time. Look at us. We've only been married eight years. And you can hardly keep your eyes open at night. Well, that's as may be, but I don't knock you about either or make you do degrading things. No, the evidence speaks for itself. Besides, you can't make normal judgments about psychopathic killers. They can be triggered off at any time. We've got to find him before his... Appetite is wetted again. 